The arrival of Ethereum 2.0 is by far one of the most exciting events on the horizon for blockchain technology because that's going to be the new and improved version of Ethereum that gets the blockchain ready for prime time. I'm personally super excited about this, but I see a lot of misconceptions about this floating around online and I get tons of questions about this on our live streams that we do on this channel Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. So I want to make this video as a blockchain developer who works the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis to clear this up and give you the truth about Ethereum 2.0. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step, start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this. So a quick recap in case you're brand new or you're not quite sure what Ethereum 2.0 is. So again, it's like I said, it's the new and improved version of Ethereum that gets the blockchain ready for prime time. So if you're using Ethereum right now today, let's say you hold some Ether in your wallet, or maybe you're using a decentralized exchange or some other DeFi application powered by smart contracts, then you're using Ethereum 1.0 right now. And so this is the original version of Ethereum that's been around since 2015. And you might have noticed by using it that the user experience is less than ideal. It's kind of slow. It's kind of clunky. It's expensive. But that's because it's version 1.0. And that was the plan for Ethereum all along was to it, launch it basically in a less than perfect state and then create a new version of it called Ethereum 2.0 that makes it much faster, scalable, and ready for prime time and then merge those two things together over time. And because it's been around for so long, we've had a ton of time to get applications and users on top of it to build this rich DeFi ecosystem and other blockchain applications like NFTs that we have today. So the important thing for you to know is that part of Ethereum 2.0 is here right now. Okay, so Ethereum 2.0 is a multi-phase rollout. You have to implement Ethereum 2.0 in multiple phases because there are different pieces in the puzzle. You don't just flip a switch and turn Ethereum 2.0 on and get all these different benefits. You get different benefits by changing different aspects of Ethereum and these have to be implemented one by one. So we're in part of a multi-phase rollout, phase zero, phase one, phase two, so three total phases. We're in phase one right now. This is where a beacon chain is set up. So there's a parallel Ethereum 2.0 being developed right now that's live today and it's being worked on. You know, you can go use it now. You can stake on it and eventually these two things are going to merge together. But we won't see Ethereum 2.0 fully roll out until each of these phases has been implemented. And when it is, we'll be completely transitioned to this new version. So that's a quick overview of what Ethereum 2.0 is. But now I want to dig into some of the frequently asked questions that I get about this. And I'll start with the first number one misconception. All right. And I want to clear this up right now. So people ask me all the time, especially in these live streams that we do in this channel, like is Ethereum 2.0 going to fix East gas fee problem? That's one of the biggest complaints I hear about Ethereum is it's too expensive. All right. It's just going to open all the doors for these other computers competitors to come in and steal ETH's market share, you know, eat his lunch, all that kind of stuff. So there's good news and there's bad news for this, okay? I'll give you the bad news first. The bad news is that Ethereum 2.0 is not going to fix Ethereum gas fee issue, okay? But the good news is that this problem can be greatly improved by layer two scaling solutions, okay? So what are those? Well, that's basically building a second layer on top of the blockchain that we have right now, the base Ethereum layer that derives a security from Ethereum layer one and improves the gas fees in addition to the throughput. So it actually makes Ethereum faster too. And those things exist now, all right, just on a small scale. But layer two adoption is growing by the day. And we're going to see some really prominent layer two scaling solutions launch in full force really soon with popular apps like Uniswap version 3 that tons of people know and use, or we can have the benefit of a much faster, cheaper Ethereum than the one we have today without having to wait for Ethereum 2.0 to fully roll out. So the bad news is ETH 2.0 is not going to fix the gas fee problem on Ethereum, but the good news is Layer 2s will, and they're going to be here very soon. All right, so the next question that I get is when is Ethereum 2.0 going to get here, all right, in full force? So that's the next question I want to talk about right now, and I actually want to turn that back around and ask a couple of other questions because these are the things that people really are trying to figure out whenever they say, hey, when's Ethereum 2.0 going to get here fully? So one of the first reasons people ask that question is, hey, when can Ethereum be faster than it is today? Or when can Ethereum be cheaper than it is today? But like I just told you, a lot of that stuff is going to get greatly improved with layer two scaling solutions that are going to be here very soon. So if that's the question that you want the answer to, then you know you can expect that in a matter of months rather than having to wait for all of Ethereum 2.0 to fully ship before we get that benefit, okay? So another reason people ask this question a lot is when can ETH 2.0 have staking? So when can I actually take my Ethereum cryptocurrency, stake it to the network, earn a passive income reward for that and like withdraw it? So... The good news is, you know, we have proof of stake set up right now on the beacon chain. So if you if you really wanted to, you could take your Ether that you have right now and stake it on Ethereum 2.0. Of course, you have to have 32 Ether to do this. You have to run a value in order, et cetera, et cetera. But you can do that now. The only problem is you can't withdraw it back until we get out of this phase. 
But the good news is we've seen lots of recent developments that could push, you know, proof of stake going live with Ethereum that we have today much sooner than people expect. We've even seen proposals by Vitalik and others to prioritize proof of stake to get rid of mining and proof of work on top of Ethereum that we have today. And that could come a lot faster than people are expecting. And another big benefit of this is that it makes ETH more green than it currently is today. There's a lot of opposition around, you know, Bitcoin's proof of work mining using a lot of energy, also NFTs on top of Ethereum using a lot of energy to mint them and send them around, etc. Etc. You might have seen little, you know, infographics going around that talk about this. But a lot of those problems can be fixed with Ethereum proof of stake because it consumes way less energy. And we can get the benefit of that before Ethereum 2.0 fully rolls out when proof of stake is merged in. And that could be much sooner than people are anticipating, like maybe even inside of 2021. So now let's get to the last question, which is when is Ethereum 2.0 fully going to roll out? So again, some of the most common reason people ask this question is when can Ethereum be cheaper? When can it be faster? When can we stake on Ethereum? So the answer to those questions is probably inside of 2021 for all of those things. Okay, so the truth about Ethereum 2.0 and its actual release date before everything goes live is that we don't really know. I know that's an unsatisfying answer for a lot of people. It makes some people think that Ethereum 2.0 is a scam, that it's never going to get here. We've seen, you know, different things push back, et cetera, et cetera. This is an incredibly complex technical feat and big projects like this are notoriously hard to estimate. So we don't have an official release date on when Ethereum 2.0 is fully going to ship, but my own personal best estimate is that we would see that in the earliest in 2022. And now some people will just stop right there and say, hey, that's way too long. We can't wait till 2022 for Ethereum 2.0 to fully roll out. Okay, so... But don't forget what I said earlier. We're going to get a lot of the benefits of a much faster, cheaper Ethereum with layer two scaling solutions that are going to go live really soon. Okay. And also with the merge being prioritized, we could see proof of stake turned on a lot sooner as well. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The other big thing is talking about, you know, other competing layer one blockchains, because this is one of the reasons that people, you know, think about this a lot. They think, oh, hey, it's going to take way too long. We've got all this time for other competitors to come in and just do what Ethereum 2.0 is trying to do much faster. But the truth is a lot of those projects are making compromises, you know, in the short term that won't actually accomplish what Ethereum 2.0 is trying to do. And some projects are actually trying to work on competitive layer one scaling technologies that preserve decentralization, scalability, and security. But the truth is they have the same uphill battle to climb that Ethereum has right now. So think about it like sending a rocket to the moon as a good analogy. So if that's where blockchain is right now, the analogy is that no one's actually put a rocket on the moon yet. So this isn't exactly like a problem you could just throw money at and make it happen. So for a competitor to deliver the same benefits as Ethereum 2.0, and I mean the exact same benefits with speed speed, security, and decentralization without compromising on those things. Then they have the same uphill technical battle, but then they have the additional hurdle of building a rich ecosystem of apps and users and liquidity on top of it like Ethereum already has right now. So that's another dimension of momentum that is also incredibly hard to generate. And don't think they're just going to easily overcome that and the time that it would take Ethereum for it to fully reach Ethereum 2.0. All right, and so the last big question that people ask all the time is, hey, whenever Ethereum 2.0 gets here, are we going to get free coins? Okay, are we going to see a chain fork where, you know, one community decides to hold back and keep using Ethereum 1.0 as it is today, and then a new community goes and starts Ethereum 2.0? So that's a, that's a fork, it's a chain fork. And sometimes in the past where this has happened, we've seen two blockchains run in parallel, and then people have double cryptocurrency if you were holding it before this split happened. Ethereum Classic is a good example of this. So I've seen multiple different opinions on this. I don't have a really strong opinion one way or the other. Of course, I do hold Ethereum, of course, full disclosure, I talk about that all the time on this channel. So if it does happen and I fork and get double coins, then hey, you know, awesome. But I'm not banking on it for a few reasons. Number one, we have lots of, you know, applications that are built on top of the Ethereum network right now that have fiat backing. So for example, USDC is a stable coin built on top of Ethereum. So if the chain splits, then they're probably going to have some sort of say in which chain to honor because at the end of the day, they have to redeem their USDC stable coins when customers want to, you know, cash them out for dollars. So there are lots of other applications that have a similar problem. Of course, you know, exchanges have to support which exchange they're going to accept deposits and withdrawals from. And so a lot of these institutions are going to have influence where the real value proposition for the apps that are built on top of Ethereum are going to operate. So that being said, I think people are going to prefer using the chain where the most value is. And so people are using the chain where the most value is, then, you know, why would people still want to maintain a blockchain that didn't have as much value? Maybe for the sake of the underlying cryptocurrency. So again, I don't have a huge strong opinion on this, but that's my current take. I've seen lots of people say the exact opposite, and they're actually banking on a fork where they can get double cryptocurrency based on this event. I'd be happy to be proven wrong about this because 
because of course I would get free coins. And if we do have a chain fork, I don't see the old version of Ethereum 1.0 really compromising the long-term vision of what ETH 2.0 is trying to accomplish. All right, so that's the long-term vision of where we're headed with Ethereum 2.0. That's the truth. These are the questions I get asked all of the time. And I want to make this video to clear all that up because I know a lot of you have these same types of questions. So I hope this video is helpful to you. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so more people can learn about blockchain. If you like this video and you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, then how can you get your hands dirty and get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can buy any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. If you like those, you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step -step, start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, you don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. All right, so that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.